Okay, here we are back for um, finishing finishing with this uh, um, this approach to the visualization of the um, muscular volume. So let me get you in the detail here. See how um, what happens in here is that so these the black ones are the fibers of the deltoid. Of course, they all cover all of this area here. There's many more, but we need to synthesize it, right? These are the fibers of the pectoralis, right? They kind of see how they overlap. See, this goes under that, this goes under that, and so on and so on. They overlap, right? Meaning the 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 um, the tendon of the pectoralis that will twist over itself. So now here I have under the deltoid the long head of the bicep and the short head of the bicep. So now you see how the um, deltoid is over the pectoralis and the pectoralis is over the bicep, right? So one, two, three, right? So um, I decided to, that uh, I want to show you also the, um, the insertion of the bicep on, on the radius so we finish um, by adding a little bit of another muscle, right? So uh, the humerus right, is under here, very visible here now, right? That's the humerus. This is the fiber of the bicep, right? The long head. This is the short head, right? And uh, together, these fibers come together and um, create the bicep brachius, right? which means the two-headed muscle of the arm. Short head and long head. From here, I have now the merged part of the two heads. That will go down. Where is it going? Right? Where is it going? Let's, let's, let's see. Uh, I might actually draw the lower part of the humerus with the, with the black pencil to make it uh, stand out and we take bicep stand out against the um, against the fibers of the of the bicep right so now this is the end of the humerus right and the humerus right so one end one the lateral side of the humerus has a um, a gradual widening and um, I don't know if you can hear it guys but there is a wind hear it it's scary it's like a, a mad cat yelling um, so um, and this is the portion of the medial epicondyle so lateral epicondyle medial epicondyle um, here on the medial side I have the ulna And on the lateral side here, I have the radius, right? So that's the radius. And the radius at this, just uh, a couple of inches below the elbow joint here, have a little bit of a tuberosity, like a little bit of a bump. And that bump is called um, tuberosity of the bicep. So now I see that the bicep is connecting with this little tuberosity, little bump. And uh, if I, from here, if I want to add more muscle, I could add more, for example, under the, under the bicep, I have the, um, the brachialis. So the brachialis starts from the, basically where the deltoid ends, where the coracobrachialis ends, uh, and uh, it goes from the anterior face of the lower half of the, um, of the hum humerus, from here to, there's a triangular uh, tuberosity in here, roughness in here, right? On the anterior face of the ulna, and that's where this muscle goes. You know, when there is roughness, bumps, crests, um, tuberosities, etc., it's because most likely a muscle will attach there. So now from here, I'm going to create my two, just two fibers. I could draw more, right? But two fibers are under the bicep 
and go to the tuberosity of the ulna. So we see how the um, the brachialis, right? The brachialis is is a flexor of the forearm, as is the bicep. Um, but one starts from higher up here, right? And ends up here and come down at an angle like this, right? One, actually, let me lose a longer pencil here like this, right? And the brachialis instead starts from lower half, lower, and then it goes slightly in the other direction. So the muscle do one goes slightly this direction, one slightly this direction, and therefore they privilege different movement in flexion of the forearm, right? Or the specialized, let's say. So So this is um, is a way you could use to um, study uh, the study the muscles, study the um, origin insertion. The origin insertion is something that I always um, annoy my student with, but the origin insertion is is very very important because it gives you a good understanding of the dynamics of the mechanics and the forms of the. Um, muscular skeletal, skeletal apparatus. Okay, enjoy.